Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com, and um, I have a little, a few little things here I want to show you guys on on some of the stuff on if you're having some issues when you're you're cutting from the WinPC Sign 2012 program or any program actually. Um, if you're doing some rhinestone designs and your your cutting isn't cutting what you actually want to have cut, um, I have one of my my designs out here, um, and this is how it should look when I send it to to the cutter and um, if it doesn't look like this and if it looks like this this diagram over here what this has actually is it has um, little circles I'll zoom this up here for you so you can see it has little little circles they're called the pin marks around our um, our dots and they're controlled by your in your color palette over here um, they're actually this is the inside color which is the B which is the brush color and then the P color is or the P is the color that is around the outside of it and you can also you can choose if you want that those lines thicker or if you want them skinnier by this little control down here so I bring it all the way over to the edge there so it's only at 0.001 so it's super super skinny but sometimes you'd end up with a diagram or a design when you're done then that has these marks around each of your colors if you try to send this to your cutter what your cutter is going to pick up is it's not going to pick up this purple on the inside to cut it's going to pick up the black so if you were trying to cut all of your black um, you know then it will go ahead and cut but if you try to choose your purple color it's not gonna it's not gonna pick that up and it's not gonna work you're not gonna get those things cut out and um, it's the pin mark is when I have it um, selected here it's around all of my circles it's around my gold circles down here too so again that's gonna throw your color off when you go up to um, your your cutting tool up on top um, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna pull up a black it's gonna pull up the purple it's gonna pull up the gold but when you when you select the black here I'll just do that so you can see it pulls up all that through there when you select the gold it only pulls up um, you know the gold around here but it actually won't cut because the black is on the outside of it so it's not going to cut properly so make sure um, before you send your job to the cutter and sometimes your the outline the pin mark around your brush mark is actually the same color as your brush mark so one of the last things there's two things that I do before I send my job off to my cutter um, and um, what I do is I go ahead and I select my image and then I come over to my color palette over here my color box and this little red X down here in the bottom is going to take those the pin mark off of your brush mark so it's going to take the this black mark off of my purple mark so I go ahead and I hit that and immediately I can see now that I have I have this in the right color that I need it to be to go ahead and send to my cutter this one over here I actually have um, the same color and I'll zoom this in I have the same color of pin mark as brush mark and you can't even tell it's there the only the only way you're gonna know is actually to take it and um, you know take it and do what I did select the whole image and take and hit the the red X on the lower part of the the color palette box here and that will take the pin mark away another thing is if you actually look at it and you think gosh those circles look pretty big and big and round when it has the pin mark around it makes your diameter of your circle a lot bigger so it looks like your stones are touching here when you take that away you can see the difference in the two sizes of the stones here that you actually see from over here where the pin mark is around the brush mark and where it is not around the brush mark this is a good clean file now to go ahead and send to your cutter so you won't have any problems with something not cutting by color the way that you want it to um, and make sure that when you when you choose what color you want to cut you know I'm gonna go back up to my palette here when you choose the color that you want to cut and you can see now I've taken I've taken the black off there it doesn't show up here at all um, it's gonna cut by color so go ahead and pick your you know your purple first and then it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna cut by your color and that's all it's gonna cut because you're cutting two colors you need to lay those out separately so that you can layer them on your transfer your second color that you will cut on a, a separate template will be the broom part and that you know you put your little weeding box around it and you'll be able to cut that just fine um, another thing I wanted to show you too I'm gonna go ahead and take the pin mark off of both of those 
And another thing I wanted to show you too, the last thing I do before I send something to my cutter is I select the whole image and um, I come over to my transformation box. It has all my rhinestones and sizes and all the different things. And I actually hit, and this is in the 2012 version, not in the 2010 version, but um, you hit the change to circle. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that in the area that we defined here for it to check, every one of those dots are going to be a perfect circle, a round circle. They're not going to be oblong. They're going to be a perfect diameter to send to your cutter. Sometimes when we're working with stuff we can um, kind of take and make a circle oblong or make it a, a little off shape and then we send it to our cutter and that's what we end up with on our, our green rubber material or our flocked material when we do our templates. And if that's the case then your stones are not going to flow into your template as well as they will. Um, do if it's a complete circle. So make sure and hit, after you've taken the pin mark away, hit that change to circle and do this every time that you send something to your cutter so you know that you end up with an awesome template when you're done. If you have any more questions, just let me know. This is Sandy Joe at rhinestonetemplates.com. Make sure and visit our website. We have lots of downloads for sale um, in SVG EPS format. Um, we're constantly adding new stuff to it. We also have mini rhinestones packages, kits, bulk rhinestones, um, the template material transfer tape, just tons of stuff on there. Um, fun little tools to work with for, for making your job easier too. So visit our website and we always have deals going on um, on the website over on the right hand column where we have sale items and stuff too and right now we have a lot of one dollar downloads but um, just go ahead and check out our website and if you ever need something that you don't see on there, transfers, downloads for cutting your own templates or pre-cut templates, just send us an email at rhinestonetemplates at gmail.com and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you again and thanks for watching.